This challenge is going to involve engineering, force vectors, and some light mountaineering. You're going to need to construct a bridge strong enough to safely transport a vehicle from one side to the other. The vehicle is going to be constantly travelling along its path and it'll take 90 minutes to reach the bridge. So time is of the essence. Your bridge needs to be sturdy, but don't take too long or when the vehicle gets there, it's not going to make it across. To succeed in this challenge, you're going to need to be able to successfully design a bridge that can handle all of the forces that you're going to place on it when this vehicle goes across. So there are a couple of key things that we want to think about. Number one, we want to think about the strength of the materials that you're working with, what makes them strong and in what ways they are strong. And then we want to think about your design and the geometry of it and how we're going to handle all of the different forces that are going to be at play. Make sense? Okay, so let's start by thinking about this. You've got a piece of paper there and a marker. I'd love you all just to draw a bridge. Any bridge, maybe one you've seen. It can be sort of cartoony if you like. Don't worry about making it too complicated because the whole idea is there are many different kinds of bridges and I just want to see what comes up for you guys off the top of your head. Can you go ahead and draw one for me? Can I ask you all to hold up your uh, pictures and do it so that you, not just me, um, can see, but actually all the rest of you can just do a bit of a quick comparison. All different bridges, yeah? Really happy? Okay, great. Put them down for a second. Now what's brilliant is I think we maybe have, uh, we've got pretty much every kind of type of bridge, right? As you know, there are three main kinds of bridges and I wanna talk through each one so that you can understand the principles at work underneath them, okay? If you've got, you know, a beginning and an end and you can see where you're building from and to here on the challenge. So if you're gonna start here, and end over here, okay? You wanna have basically this beam going across and you've got these sorts of structures here, something like this, which will distribute the forces, okay? Now, how is this going to work? Well, you're actually getting a weight on top of here and it's placing stress and strain on the bridge, okay? What kind of stress or strain? Because actually two different types that you maybe have experienced, right? It's pushing down. If this isn't strong enough, what do you think is going to happen? What would you describe is going to happen to the shape of the bridge? It'll like sink. Yeah, perfect. It's actually going to kind of sink downwards, isn't it, right? So what we're talking about here is tensile strength. So it's kind of being stretched out as it were. It's going to turn into, let's use another color. It's going to turn into something like this. This is that sinking that you described. And eventually it's going to break. Like as you can see, this curved length is longer than what it looks like when it's just straight. And it gets longer and longer until it can't get longer anymore and it will fall apart. Does that make sense? So that's why you can see, and you, several of you did this on your bridges, you've got these trusses here and these triangular shapes. What did they do? As this weight is coming down, you can see the direction that the forces are distributed to, right? It's sort of along these lines here. And what's great about these triangles is they're all kind of matched together. So can you see how, for example, this triangle here, it's applying a force to the right and it's balanced by this force from the other triangle next to it going to the left. Make sense? Now obviously there's still downward force and that's why you need to construct it, you know, with enough strength and using your materials carefully, but that's how you can balance this out so it doesn't just cave. Let's have a look. I wonder if I'm, Kami, can you hold up yours for, for all of us so we can see, all right? So this is not a truss bridge. What is this? Do you guys know what it's called? Very roughly. String bridge. A string bridge. I mean, you can actually physically use string to do this. And what you've got here is sort of like two tower looking things, right? And then suspending the bridge are these, well, they might be strings or cables or anything like that, right? Now, because it is suspended, this is often called a suspension bridge, right? Now, what you've got here is, let's think again about where the forces are going and what actually, there's different kinds of strength going on, okay? Firstly, you've got this, here's your bridge, and it's actually being held up by these strings or these cables. So have a think about this, not a rhetorical question. You saw where the forces were going here. Where are the forces going? In what direction are they going from the bridge to the strings or cables? Picture it, imagine you are standing on there, right? So you're making the bridge go down. Where are the strings trying to go oh. to try and keep it? They're actually going up, right? So they're sending their force upwards, like so, okay? Same sort of idea that we were talking about before, tensile strength. Um, if there's too much that's pushing, you know, that sort of sinking you were describing before, um, these strings will get sort of pulled and pulled and pulled. Eventually they might break if it's too heavy. But hold on a second, I can't just like just go up into the sky and like where do they go from there, okay? And that's why, again, if you hold yours up, Carmen, 
You can see why those towers are so important. What might they be made of? In, in bridges you've seen before, what do you see they're made of? Concrete. Concrete, steel, really strong materials, right? So I'm going to try and make this a bit bolder here. So you've got kind of these big, strong structures, but this is actually working very differently. Think about this. These strings or cables are being stretched. So that's the tensile strength we were talking about before. But this column here, it's not being stretched out. It's actually being squashed. It's being compressed. The, compressed. So this is actually called compressive strength. So when you think about the materials you've got, you've got uh, the balsa wood, you've got some cardboard, right? They actually have different material properties that have, you know, a, a strength for stretching and also a strength for squashing, okay? I'm just having a look across. Okay, um, I might go to Jed. Can you hold up your one for us? Okay, uh, this is an interesting design, a bit of a combination going here. It's that shape across the top and also Paige, you were drawing something very similar as well. It's that shape across the top that I'm interested in. What would you call that? What name would you give to that kind of shape? An arch? Yeah, that's exactly right. So if we have a think about an arch bridge, right? And we've got a lot of famous arch bridges around the world. For example, the Sydney Harbour Bridge is an arch. Okay, it's actually a very particular kind of shape and it's very clever, right? Watch this. If you take a heavy sort of uh, elastic kind of object like this, right? And if you let it hang under its own weight, this actually makes a particular kind of shape that's very important to building bridges. Um, what would you guess that this shape looks like? What do you reckon? Kind of like a semicircle? Yeah, if, if I held it kind of like this, right, with um, these ends vertical, it does look like a semicircle. Um, another shape that you guys have encountered before that sort of looks vaguely familiar, starts with a P, could be a... Parabola. Parabola. But actually, weirdly, it is neither a semicircle nor a parabola. Uh, it's a shape called a catenary. Now, catenary actually means chain. That's why we've got this to illustrate. If you were to take this shape, right, I wonder if you just have a look here, right? And if you turn this catenary upside down, you get this particular looking arch. And what's brilliant about it is, you can see where the forces are going here. These ones are going up and then down. These ones are going down and then in diagonals. Wrong color. What's brilliant about this catenary is it perfectly sends all of its forces out along the arch. And so this can be incredibly strong. Some of the oldest bridges that we've seen around the world, if they've lasted for centuries, can pretty much guarantee it's one of these kinds of shapes because they're incredibly durable. Um, you might see some of them made out of perhaps, you know, stone, brick, that kind of thing, because we've been able to uh, manufacture and construct with that for a long time. Or if you have a think about the materials that you have access to, if you have something that can go this entire distance and is sort of flexible enough to actually make this shape, then if you can design it properly, it'll maintain the weight of whatever you put on it, so long as it's strong enough materials, okay? We have these three different kinds of bridges that all work slightly differently. The truss bridge uses a simple construction that sends the forces off into whatever kind of triangular lattice that you design. You've got the suspension bridge, which has to have these very strong pillars that will hold up whatever kinds of cables or other materials will suspend the bridge in the air. And then lastly, you've got the arch bridge, which sends the forces along the structure itself. So you can see that's why there's none of these triangular supports. It's actually this curved shape, the catenary, that does the job and supports the weight. To succeed in this challenge, you wanna think about what kind of a bridge that you design. You can think about, you have access to the weights to test these out and see, you know, before the vehicle gets there, whether it's going to be strong enough. And you want to think about whichever design that you pick, how is it working, how does it take advantage of the materials you've got, and exactly how they're strong. Good luck. Can't wait to see what you build and what you plan. You are so close. Go, guys, 30 seconds. Go. Those vehicles going. Well done. Ah! Stress test, stress test. All right, let's ready, go, guys. Ready, ready, Five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one. Hands up your bridges. Step away from the bridges. <laughs>